Hi everyone, it's the Sandman just coming at you with another vlog from my patrol. This time it's a night patrol. So you can see I'm using the alley lights and the takedowns on my light bar. So you can see it's pretty bright out here. Um, what I'm checking right now is a trailhead. So the trailheads are really important to check out because you never know who could be hanging out here at night. So when I check the trailheads, I use all my lighting. I have, like I said, the full size light bar. So I have the alley light, as you can see right here on. I have the other alley light on as well. And then the takedown lights, which are the forward facing lights. So I also have the Streamlight Waypoint 300, which I discussed in another video and I reviewed. It's a fantastic light. So our newer patrol vehicles don't have the built-in spotlights because they're not the police package like what we had before. We had the police package uh, Ford Interceptor SUV. Um, now we don't have the police package vehicles, so we have the handheld spotlight, but I find that this is really, really effective at night. So you can see I have the alley lights on, but watch how bright it is with this handheld spotlight. It's like night and day. I'm able to illuminate those woods very, very clearly. Um, so it just, it's really, really helpful. Like I said, I can, I can illuminate and see what's going on. Now the other thing I'll show you, I like to get out on foot at these trailheads too, because you never know what you could find. Um, it's not always just vehicles that you're looking for. You're looking for people and then potentially bicycles. Um, I've found bicycles at trailheads. It could be somebody who got injured and maybe they're still out in the woods or it could just be people or, or teenagers in particular um, who might be out in the woods maybe having a bonfire or drinking alcohol illegally or something to that effect. So I'll show you what I look for. So basically when I'm out here I'm looking at all of these different areas. I'm checking the the bushes um, because I want to see if anybody is out here. Um, I'm checking, like I said, the trailheads. So the trail goes right down into there. Um, and I'm looking right down the trailhead um, just to see if anybody's down there. Um, I don't typically walk too far in because the further you go, I guess the more risk there is. Um, you don't want to get ambushed. Um, so what I do is I, I check the trailheads, see if there are any signs, maybe footprints, you know, depending on if it's raining or not. I use my situational awareness skills just to see what's going on. Um, and you can see behind me, that's why it's so blinding, behind me is my patrol vehicle. So you can see I have my takedown lights on and my alley lights and they are really, really bright. Um, so that is what I look for. Um, I'm looking for all of those different types of signs that might lead me to believe that somebody is down this trail. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. Um, sometimes it's, it's as obvious as a vehicle. I have encountered vehicles um, at these trailheads. You know, sometimes people like to hang out in these areas because they are not very well lit um, there's no street lights or anything like that so sometimes people like to come down here and maybe um, engage in some sexual activities or um, do some drugs so you really have to pay close attention to these areas because you never know what you're gonna find so when you're look when you're looking down these trailheads like I said you really want to use your lighting I'm a big fan of lighting, you know, that, that's one of your best resources as a security officer is your lighting. Um, you know, I also have my flashlight on my duty belt, um, like I said, I have this handheld spotlight, um, and then I have my full size light bar with the takedown lights and the alley lights. So I hope this video helps, um, I hope you can see what it's like to do a night patrol. So like I said, when you know, when I illuminate, I like to really scan the surroundings and just see what I can find um, because like I said you just you, you never know you never know who could be out here 
Um, so let me know in the comment section below what you use when you do night patrols. Um, let me know what kind of lighting you like to use and um, what you find helpful. You know, if you have certain strategies that you like to employ when you're on patrol at night. So it's a different world. Um, when I patrol during the day, it's more about, you know, being courteous and, and you know, engaging in, in community relations. Whereas at night, you know, my question is, why are you here? Like if I were to find somebody here in this area, my first question would be, how can I help you? What's going on? What brings you here at this hour? Um, because chances are they're probably up to something um, nefarious. They're not here to just enjoy a picnic at, you know, whatever time it is, midnight or, or, or later. You just never know what you're going to find. So I hope this video helps to shed light, if you will, on, um, on what it's like to conduct night patrols. Um, like I said, please comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And I enjoy hearing from you. I enjoy the conversations that happen in the comment section. So I appreciate everything that you um, have done. And also please uh, like this video and subscribe so that way I know that, that I should be producing more content. It's really nice to have people chime in and let me know that they want to learn more about being a security officer. So thank you everybody for watching and stay safe.